All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to change the oil on a Chinese ATV. This one's a 110, it's my son's four-wheeler, but uh, it's actually super simple. I've actually never changed the oil on this. Um, I plan on doing more work to it later, but uh, right now I'm gonna show you how to change the oil. So down here, bring it a little closer. So right here is actually where you check your oil. There's a little dipstick, kind of like what you'd see on a vehicle. Typically, I'll wipe all this stuff down to make sure nothing falls in there, but I'm going to change it. That's how you check the oil. This has full oil. So, not too bad. But I bought this ATV. He's been using it for a little while after I fixed it, and uh, I've never changed the oil, so I figured I should do this. Okay, so right now, I have it on cinder blocks. You don't really need to lift it up. I'm just lifting it up just for the purpose of this video um you're gonna have two plugs underneath okay you're gonna have two plugs underneath you're gonna have this one right here you're gonna have this one what you want to do is empty the flat one do not undo the other one change the view a little bit but once you access that little that nut it's actually a 17 millimeter nut but once you access that you just have to loosen it take it all the way off remember it's the one on the flat side Typically, I loosen it pretty loose with an air ratchet. When I get close to the bottom, I do it by hand. And you only need about a quarter oil. This one's actually really black. I don't know when the last time, whoever had this before me, I don't know the last time he changed the oil. But anyways, that's, what's gonna, that's what your nut's gonna look like. And typically there's a little gasket on there. This one wasn't leaking any oil though, so I guess I'm not gonna worry about the gasket or putting it back on this one. I'm just gonna give it a towel real quick to wipe this off. Okay, you see that it's almost all leaked out. You only need about a quart of oil, a little less than a quart to fill the to fill this up. Um, this one, I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes before I uh, before I put more oil in it. Okay, so I let this completely drain free of oil. Next thing I'm gonna do is take a washcloth and just wipe around all the edges, make sure there's no oil in this thing. It's still dripping a tiny, tiny bit, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. By the way, there's this little tab on the front of the oil. I'll show it to you right now. So it's kind of hard to miss or use the wrong bolt. Use a 17 millimeter bolt. Or I mean a 17 millimeter socket and you'll know you got the right bolt. Okay, and then you just wanna make sure it's tight, but don't over tighten it. Okay, so when you're under here, this is actually the bolt you want to undo. There's a little tab in front of it. It's hard to miss. It's a 17 millimeter bolt head. So just use a 17 millimeter socket. And uh, after you empty all the oil out, make sure you put that one back on, or make sure you put that bolt head back on. Because when you try to fill it up with the oil, if you don't, obviously all the oil is going to pour out the bottom. Anyway, 17 millimeter socket. It's hard to mess it up. Switch, I'm switching angles again just to show you where I'm coming in at. I'm actually going to come in right there. I already removed the cap. The dipstick, I mean. Which is also the cap for that. Usually when I do this, I just wipe up around it. But when you're going back to refill it, you need about a quart of oil. I've heard some people use a motorcycle oil, engine oil. I've read different stuff online. But the other quad that I changed the oil on, I just used uh, regular engine oil. Haven't had any issues. Well, actually, I use synthetic engine oil. But I use a funnel just to make sure I don't drop oil everywhere. Remember, it's only a quart of oil. Do not overfill it. Or else you have to, empty, you have to drain some more out. But a quart of oil goes fast. So just keep track of how much you're pouring. Okay, so I put about three-fourths of a quart in. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. I'll check how much oil is in it with the dipstick. And then uh, if I need more, I'll add more. Okay, so checking the dipstick, it has about that much oil in it. That's perfect. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. So that's how you change the oil on an ATV. Very simple. 
Also, if you ever put that bolt back, uh, the drain pan bolt or the oil pan bolt, if you put that back and uh, you forgot to put that gasket back in there, just tilt your four wheeler up like this, and you'll be able to take. You'll be able to remove that bolt. Barely any oil will come out. Maybe a couple drops. I think literally maybe like five drops fell out, and then uh, and then you'll be able to put that gasket back on, put the bolt back on without losing your oil.